Almost one billion people worldwide, approximately one in nine people, are lacking access to safe drinking water, which is a huge health and social problem. Moreover, most of the techniques for desalination and purification of water are highly energy intensive and based on complex technologies that cannot be afforded by most of the developing countries. My colleagues and I in the Multiscale Modeling Laboratory, we think that solar energy and low-grade thermal energy sources can be good candidate for having water which is drinkable and affordable from the sustainability point of view. In our laboratory, we use numerical modeling and experimental prototyping in order to develop innovative proof-of-concept devices towards this goal. For example, in the NanoStep project, we use the solar energy concentrated by a parabolic dish in order to desalinate and purify water in order to make it drinkable. The basic idea is to add to water some nanoparticles, which highly increase the efficiency of the solar energy absorption in order to drive the evaporation of water and also to promote natural antibacterial processes. By using advanced computational models, we investigate how the nanoparticles make aggregates and how these aggregates will survive under direct solar light. The idea is to enhance the capability to absorb solar energy and also to transfer it efficiently. After that, we analyze the most promising suspension by experimental characterizations into customized solar receivers. So the idea is to reduce the thermal losses in order to increase the efficiency of the systems and to use natural fluids with no environmental hazard. This synergy between computational models and experimental prototyping is the key for developing novel solutions and sometimes even to patent them. For example, we recently submitted three patents, two of them has been already extended internationally, for producing water steam by solar energy in a very efficient way. But we are not only stuck to solar energy. For example, we are also developing a multi-effect distillation unit that can be used together with low-grade thermal energy sources, for example, the heat released by auxiliary generators in remote regions. And we already collected the interest by Médecins Sans Frontières for using our prototype in their hospitals in Africa. And I would like also to mention that in developing our prototypes, we take advantage of 3D printing techniques in order to have the maximum flexibilities in our design. Finally, I would like to mention our funding sources. In particular, Bando Talenti, funded by Fondazione CRT, allowed me to develop the theoretical models in collaboration with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology at Boston, and also to build the first prototypes of our customized solar receivers. By this research, we hope to have an impact in solving the water scarcity problem in the world by using renewable energy sources. Thank you.